Today we're going to teach you everything there is to know about your Yahoo Calendar. First, Yahoo Calendar is a web-based calendar tool from Yahoo. As one of the most widely used online and mobile calendars, Yahoo Calendar offers a wide range of features that you can use for business and personal tasks. These features include the ability to read calendar feeds and events that are syndicated from other websites that use Yahoo Calendar programming interfaces. Other features include annual, monthly, weekly, and daily viewpoints of your calendar. You can also see lists related to the events on your calendar. Each perspective gives you a way to manage your time in the short term and into the future. Now let's check out how you can use Yahoo Calendar. To see what it can do, the first step is to go to Yahoo Calendar. You can do this by going to https colon forward slash forward slash login dot yahoo dot com. Here you'll enter your email address and password. Once you are in your Yahoo account, you'll see your Yahoo inbox and a calendar tab at the top of your screen. Before learning how to add events to your Yahoo Calendar, you may need to import events from a calendar that you've already been using. Unfortunately, this is not the easiest thing to do with this particular calendar tool. The calendar shows three gear icons. There is one marked Actions at the top of the screen, another one that says To Do's, and a third that gives you access to the calendar settings and to your account settings. However, none of these contain anything that shows an import feature. Instead, on the left of the screen, you'll see a list that says My Calendars, under the list of months. When you put your cursor over the calendar name, an arrow will appear with a notification that says More Options for this calendar. Click that arrow and another menu will appear. The third item on this menu is Import. This will allow you to bring events from other calendars that you've already created onto your Yahoo Calendar. To import those events, you'll need to export your calendar in that format. This depends on which calendar you're currently using. If it's Google Calendar, then select the gear icon at the top of the screen. Choose Settings and then Import and Export. Follow the instructions from there provided by Yahoo. If you are using iCloud, it becomes even more complicated. However, what is easy to do is to create a new event on your Yahoo Calendar. The tricky part is locating where to add an event in order to get started. There is a New Event button on the top left corner of the calendar beneath the Yahoo Mail icon. From here, you can name the event and location as well as enter a start and end date and select participants to invite. You can also opt to mark an event as a repeat event which can save you time when you regularly do the same task or hold numerous meetings. You'll also find a field to add notes about each event that is added to your Yahoo Calendar. Also, you can label each event by type, such as general, work events, appointments, and more. The quickest way to create an event is to click on any day on your calendar. You'll get a pop-up menu that will allow you to create an event there and access similar options to define and schedule it. Other options allow you to edit and delete events to ensure your Yahoo Calendar is always up to date. One of the big advantages that digital calendars like Yahoo Calendar offer is to extend functionality beyond event placement. This includes the ability to create to-do lists. On the right of the screen is a list of to-dos. The list has its own gear icon that appears below the profile gear icon. Click that icon and you'll see another menu. The contents of the menu depend on the view. Yahoo offers four ways to see your list of tasks. The default is Priority View. This view lists your tasks according to the importance you've assigned to them. List View arranges your tasks according to the subject categories in which you've placed them. Due Date View shows tasks by deadline. Finally, Done view shows the tasks you've already completed. Next, you can also personalize your Yahoo Calendar. And it may feel just as complicated as importing your other calendar's events. To personalize, go to the same menu mentioned earlier where you found the Import Calendar instructions. Choose the Edit Calendar option to access other personalization features or click on the colors that appear below the Edit Calendar option to select from nine different color choices. 
Once you pick a different color, the checkbox next to the name of the calendar changes its color. With the Edit Calendar link, other personalization options appear. Those options allow you to change the name of your calendar, select different background colors, and adjust the sharing settings for your Yahoo Calendar. Now let's see how you can share your Yahoo Calendar with others. First, you can make your Yahoo Calendar public, which lets anyone see your schedule. However, you can adjust the amount of information shown, such as only events, titles, and location of events only, or availability. You can also invite specific people to view your Yahoo Calendar. You can select a box that allows you to invite people by email to view your calendar. Your recipient will receive an email with a link that they can click on to see your schedule. The most secure way to share a calendar is to generate a unique link. Click that checkbox and you'll be given two secure and hashed URLs. The first can be sent to someone to view your calendar in a browser. The second can be sent to someone who wants to import your schedule into their own digital calendar. Also, there are options to add other people's calendars or other types of specific calendars related to a theme, like sports calendars. Finally, did you know that you can add your Yahoo Calendar to your free Calendar.com account? We love Calendar.com because it helps you save time, be more productive, and focus on the things that matter. Here are the steps. First, visit Calendar.com and create a free account. Second, go to Settings and select Connected Calendars. Follow the easy steps to connect your Yahoo Calendar and you're ready to go. No need to worry about importing tricky files. We've made it simple and you never need to do this again. Once you start using our free calendar app, you'll realize that using your Yahoo Calendar can make you more productive than ever before.